So you start off by the first part of the cupping is one, you start with the green coffee right here. So you're, you smell the green coffee, you kind of get an idea, you look at it, you're kind of getting, you know, how dense is it? How much water, like what, what, what does it look like? And then you look at the roast after that, you smell that, you know, get, get an idea of some of the flavor notes right there. And then the next thing you're doing is you're, you're, you do the break, which is after four minutes, you, you move the, the grounds away from the top of the coffee and just get the aroma. So it's a lot of smelling you know, olfactory in the very beginning of the cupping. And then the next thing you're doing is you're, then you clean it all off and then you're just tasting the actual coffee. And you just kind of like see how it feels. Like for me, what I like to taste is, you know, I try to pick up the first taste and then the middle and the like three different things start, medium, and end. And then also, what sort of like mouthfeel does it have? Is it fatty? Like I like coffees that have some sort of like, like a, almost a richness to them, a fattiness. Some, you know, you're gonna taste like a real citrus. And then you kind of break it down between like, you know, is it, do you, do you have like foresty, woody tastes? Do you have like fruit tastes? Is it sweet fruit? Is it like a stone fruit? Is it ripe? Is it unripe? Celery, salt. I mean, there's so many things you can taste. Fennel, peanuts, I mean, almonds. Uh, it's crazy. So 